Let's get to our next topic here. And this is where we eat, which is always, at least for us, <laughs> a highlight of the show. I'm not sure about the audience out there. But we have, man, we got some fun stuff today. We have a new sponsor, Jack Jekyll Pepper Sauce and Nachos. It is jackjekyll.com. And it's going to be tough for me to spell it, so I'm going to spell it a few times, and hopefully people will remember it, because you really want to get it online. It's J-A-K-J-E-C-K-E-L.com, J-A-K-J-E-C-K-L. J A C K E L dot com. As I told you, that's not easy for me. And we'll put that on our Facebook and uh, make sure people can link to it. All right. It. So they sent us a whole series of hot sauces and pepper sauces and garnishes and stuff. And I believe it's our job to try them on the air. All right. So here you go. They sent us a six pack, which always seems the appropriate way to do things. Here, I got some crackers here. You you open the crackers. I'll grab all the sauces. And here we go. And I have to tell you, these Jack Jekyll sauces have some definitely some very original flavors. And so let us start with this one because I've never seen this before. This is the Jack Frost Winter Cinnamon. Now, these are all non-vinegar. They're anti-vinegar here. <laughs> and this is a hot sauce that uses a touch of cinnamon, which is one of my favorite flavors that exist, with, backed up with maple bacon syrup, bacon being my second favorite uh, that exists, and then with uh, like a smoky, peppery chipotle habanero. So that's got everything. That's, that's got your full cool. menu there. We're going to just have these on some crackers just to see how they are. And tell you if these things are worth it for you. All right, so it's cinnamon. Yeah, good, it comes in a blue label, but it does look yeah, like hey, whoa. Oops, whoa. <laughs> that one, son. I, you just poured half the bottle onto this the thing. Idea? I think you got to be cautious with this stuff. It's it's hot. There's a skeleton on the label, so be careful. All right, hang on. Oh, that's good. You know what's really good? I I love the cinnamon taste that hits you at the beginning. You always talk about how beer, when you drink beer, the layers of flavor. This one, you get the layer of flavor. You get that cinnamon at the beginning, and then a little bit of a sweetness, and then the pepper. All right. So That's not bad. This is, it's different because it's got, you know, the cinnamon reminds me of like one of those hot peppermints that, you know. Yeah. You, you right. Know, it's hotter it, than you think. It's hot, but it's also got like a refreshing kind of thing going on it. Boy, mm-hmm. but I will tell you the... The heat lingers really nicely. I'm going to douse it with a little bit left of this uh, summer wheat. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. A little what juice it milks out. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. Next one up is their Pineapple Dreamin'. See, I'm a big fan of the pineapple, too. Pineapple, ginger, habanero mix of citry, citrusy, sweet, spicy notes. All right, I'm pouring this one. I'm going to let you deal with that. All right, there you go. Try that. All right, that's a little bit. Looks like a, looks like a, like a pineapple relish. Yeah. Mm. That's sweet. That's good. That's good. Now, some of these, they said you can try in beer. Have you ever done that? Is that something pour, that's come your way? Pour the hot sauce into the beer? You put a drop of hot sauce in the beer. All Give right. me a favor. Give me a little more of the um, yingling. I'm going to put a drop of this next one in. All right. This is the gourmet pepper sauce. So, you know, this is going to be a hot one, right? All right. I like this idea. All right, so I don't know why I'm holding the mic up to it, but I'm literally putting two drops in the beer. Swish that around. This is not something that you've done? No, I've never done this. Does this violate the Joe Sixpack <laughs> laws of beer and nature? Well, it does turn it red. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It gives it a, it gives it a little zest. Now, I was not as much of a fan of the yingling as you were, so I see it as, a, as an improvement. I'm not sure that it went well. Not working for you, huh? No. I like it. All right, let's try just a couple more. This one, I think, is really interesting. You know, I lived in Detroit at one time. Before I moved to Philadelphia, I lived in Detroit. I worked for the Detroit Free Press, and right across the street from the Detroit Free Press were these two little hot dog stands. And Detroit is big on hot dogs, and they call them Coney Islands there, which is funny because Detroit's like 800 miles from Coney Island. But a Coney Island is... A split hot dog on a white roll with chili, with mustard on top and onions, and then maybe some cheese and maybe some pickles and like whatever else. They just load it up there. And people used to line up in the street across from the newspaper building for the Coney Islands. And this is their Detroit-style Jack Jekyll Coney sauce. 
which sounds to me like this could be a winner. And they say, by the way, not a hot sauce. Not sure what makes it a hot sauce or not, but there you go. There's a little bit for you. This one's slow coming out of the bottle. It's like a little uh, thicker. Yeah, ketchup almost. All right. <laughs> Here, let me do uh, it. You do that. So I'm afraid I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting nothing out of, that, out of that bottle. It is like ketchup. All right. Anyway, it is jackjekyll.com, J-A-K-J-E-C-K-E-L.com. All right, let's dot com. All right, there you go. All right, Detroit Coney Sauce. Ooh, that's the best of the bunch. That's really good. The taste, it, yeah. again, I don't know how many people have had the chance to wow. experience that's really these Coney good. Island dogs the way I did, but that's it. That's the thing. That would be that would be great on a hot dog, actually, but it would be great. It's really good just on these mm-hmm. crackers. That's really good. That's, right. So that's the Detroit-style Coney sauce. Yeah, that's Jack, great. Jack Jake. Absolutely. They have a few others. They have a green sauce with jalapeno and, and uh, white wine vinegar-based sauce, and they have a red sole, which is a non-vinegar-based gourmet pepper sauce. And it's great stuff. This Jack Jekyll stuff is just great. And we were delighted that they sent us some. You can find it at J-A-K-J-E-C-K-E-L.com. J-A-K-J-E-C-K-E-L.com. You give it a try. 